Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Baking Secrets by Anna. In today's video, we are going to do a slightly different video. We are going to try two different recipes of brownies, the ready mix of Betty Crocker and my own homemade recipe. So let's get started. Firstly, we are going to start with my recipe, which is a six ingredient recipe. I have here my eggs and sugar. And I'm going to whisk them for about one minute until they're nice and fluffy. And then we'll continue with the rest of the ingredients. In a separate bowl, I'm going to mix my butter and my chocolate. When they are fully combined, then I'm going to add them into the mixture and give them a good mix. This recipe is very fudgy and I'm sure you will love it. Lastly, I'm going to add in the flour and cocoa powder. I'm going to mix them in and then my butter is ready. Using a rubber spatula, scrape the sides of the bowl to make sure that everything is well incorporated. Now our mixture is ready and set it to the side until we prepare our Betty Crocker mix. Now let's get started with our Betty Crocker brownie mix. In the box it says that it needs 40 ml of oil, 75 ml water and one egg. Now I'll pour into my bowl the brownie mixture from the package. I'm going to add in also my vegetable oil, the egg and water and I'm going to mix this until they are well incorporated. Make sure to comment below which do you think will be the best recipe. So our Betty Crocker mix is ready and now let's prepare our baking tins. I'm going to grease both of the tins with non-stick cooking spray to prevent our browns from sticking. Firstly, I'm going to start with my butter. As you can see, it's more thick than the Betty Crocker mix and it's more dark in color. I'm going to smooth it on top and in the edges so it will bake evenly. In this case, I'm using a 20 cm by 20 cm brownie tin. My brownie is now ready in the tin and I'm going to also pour in the Betty Crocker mix. As you can see, the Betty Crocker mix has a lighter color and the texture is more watery than mine. We are going to bake my brownies for 25 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius and we are going to bake also the Betty Crocker brownies for 25 minutes as well. Our brownies came out of the oven about an hour ago and have cooled down completely. So now is the moment of truth. I'm going to cut the Betty Crocker brownies first. I'm gonna cut them into three rows and three columns, so nine pieces. You can still tell the difference between the brownies because of the color. My ones look darker than Betty Crocker ones. This side is my brownie and this one is Betty Crocker's. So now it's test time. I'm going to try my brownie first. It has a very strong chocolate flavor and it's very dense and fudgy. So if you like dense and fudgy, you will love my brownies. So now I'm going to try Betty Crocker brownies. They're actually very nice and they're very sweet. They do not have so strong flavor as my ones, but they are very sweet. 
if you're not a dark chocolate lover like I am, then you should tr you should not try my ones. You should try Betty Crocker's. But if you like dark chocolate and fudgy brownies, then my recipe is the one for you. Don't forget that you can find all of the tools I use in the description box below. Thank you for watching guys, hope you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for next week's video.